we don't just write a check and walk away. We are very hands-on. We want to know the people we help. We want to be involved in their organizations. We want to see the children. We want to see the program. I don't think a lot of foundations do that. And I think it's really special. We came to this school, Cleveland Elementary School, out here in the Outer Mission. Uh, the trustees came out together, Nancy Terry, Bob Lurie, a group of uh, the gang came together and met with the kids. We took them up to the library, we sat in a circle, adult child, adult child, adult child, and we said we're going to write a poem. And we told the kids, the hey kids, you're going to help teach the adults to write the poem. Uh, and they did. And then what was really fun is afterwards they shared that poem. And Bob Lurie, he might deny this to this day, but he wrote a poem and I was a witness and he was a good sport about it, uh, working with the kids. At the time we started, we had this school and four others, and now, because of that investment from the Lurie Foundation, we're at 30 schools. We have a proven model, a proven program. We've been able to grow because of that early support. And what's really most exciting now is the Lurie Foundation, and the trustees are with us on our next big thing. We're now trying to take the asphalt that you see on the, all these playgrounds all around the city and transform it into these multi-purpose sports fields. Keeping the Giants in San Francisco is just one of the things that they've done. But they do a lot of things that people don't know about. But it's just, it's just the way that they are. It's the way that they live. We do one-on-one -on -one work with women and families, probably a couple hundred a month. And we designed a program together for Tenderloin School. And that program is still one of the best programs at the school six years later. It's the Structure Activity Time Program. The Lori Foundation started funding that program for us. And we wouldn't have that program now if, if they hadn't come in with funding. And it's made a difference in the entire culture of those 400 students every year. I mean, this is one of, the, one of the things that's part of the fabric of what makes it so great to live here. And it's great that people who, are, uh, who have the means to do this have stepped forward and make it all happen. At the Crossroads was created in order to help disconnected homeless youth and young adults build outstanding lives. The Lurie Foundation was there from our earliest days at a time where we were struggling to get support. Without their support, it's possible we wouldn't exist. Uh, I know for certain we wouldn't have reached nearly as many young people as we do. We all bring different uh, ideas to the table. One wants literacy, one wants this, one wants that. Um, but they all have the same goal of helping our community. We believe in leveling the playing field for the children and families of the Tenderloin. And in partnership with our families, every day um, we work together to break the cycle of poverty through education. It's because of the leadership of partners like the Lewis R. Lurie Foundation that we are really able to make a tremendous difference in the lives of the children that we serve. And we are so grateful for the many ways that they have continuously supported our, our mission of transforming lives in the Tenderloin. The Lewis R. Lurie Foundation has been absolutely essential to our work. They have supported for many, many years our playroom, helping vulnerable children in crisis, and really ensuring that all families can create a safe space for their children. The foundation was really instrumental in helping us launch our Healthy Children's Pantries, where we target families with children, getting food right into schools so that families don't have to make an extra trip to get grocery assistance. We know that writing is fundamental to success in school and beyond, and so everything we do is about inspiring kids to write. 826 Valencia has had a long relationship with the foundation. They invited us to dream our biggest dream. It's really gotten our entire community to rally behind a new project um, and feel even more inspired to give at higher levels. The legacy that I would like to leave as a trustee with the Lewis R. Lurie Foundation would be one of caring, compassion, consciousness, and did what was right, and that we did a good job at what we did. What a great thing it is for the Lewis R. Lurie Foundation to be recognized for their great philanthropy and particularly to receive the America Scores Legacy Award. So we can't say enough uh, in terms of appreciation and thanks for, to, the, to the Lurie Foundation, the trustees, for the way they've conducted their business and the way that they're changing the game for kids here in San Francisco. 
we want to say thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you and congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to the Lewis R. Lurie Foundation. I can't think of another foundation that I think deserves it more. And on behalf of the Lewis R. Lurie Foundation, it's been a great honor and pleasure to work with all the organizations that we've helped throughout the last 40 plus years. Uh, and we hope to continue our relationship with you into the future.